Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Cargo Commander. I promise one day there will be a Let's Look at that is not of a side-scrolling platformer. Well, this one's kind of like a rotating side-scrolling platformer, so it's got enough variety, hopefully, for some of you anyway. But in any case, uh, yeah, this is a platformer, not a puzzle platformer. It's actually a little bit more difficult to explain than that. It's probably easier if I just show it. Uh, but it came out on Steam a little bit earlier this month from a studio known as Serious Brew. And I've been playing a little bit of it off and on. I've probably got about an hour and a half, two hours total in it now. Uh, but I'm finally ready. I think I've got the aptitude required to play and talk about Cargo Commander at the same time. Which is no small task for someone with a brain the size of a walnut like me. Anyway, we're going to continue. And this should drop us into uh, the sector that I was recently at. So the game is divided into sectors. So our sector right now is Gallifrey. And what's cool is that these sectors, I believe, are either user-created or they're stored in some kind of online database. And anyway, before we get started here, I've just got one thing I think our character would like to say to those of you who like Gianna's sister's twisted dreams and who shit on me for shitting on Gianna's sister's twisted dreams. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! This game has a press you, F to curse you, button. It's the kind of thing that sometimes... If, if a bad game had this, I would be like, wow, that's so gimmicky. But because Cargo Commander is actually pretty fun, I'm like, well, you know, it's a little charming. I mean, there's no, you can't mix it up. It's not like if I press S, he'll say, you know, shit on a dick or something. But anytime we want to, we can just press F to curse. We can also go up here and get a coffee if we want to, which increases our speed. But in any case, this is our home in Cargo Commander. We're playing as Mr. Cargo Commander. Uh, and basically, he has two tools. He's got a gun here, which shoots nails. Which you can see right there. I'll just reload it because we're a little low. Well, we fired one anyway. And we also have a drill which can be used to drill through walls. We can do that right now. We probably don't want to open up our home to the wormhole of space just yet. Uh, but what we will do... Basically, this is a loot collecting game. I'd struggle to call it a roguelike because it's not really a roguelike. Like, the levels are predetermined. Uh, but, you know, you'll get a feel for it. Let's, you'll see it as I activate the magnet here. So by activating the magnet, some containers will start to be attracted to our ship here. So as we can see, some containers got activated here, caused parts of our ship to fly off. And now, we can actually go inside of these. And these are basically levels in their own right. So we can go in here, we can pick up mediocre donuts. And we're basically just collecting as much cargo as we possibly can. So Cargo Commander is as much... Ooh. By the way, just using my drill here to get around. We can also go into the cold vacuum of space. And in the cold vacuum of space, you know, we can float around. This is actually... A, 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 if we can just sneak through here, yeah, like a necessary movement technique sometimes. Uh, to get around to another part of the ship. Get in there, the oxygen's coming down. By the way, our health, of course, represented by those apples up there in the top right. Uh, so the levels start usually pretty slow. I'm going to take the blast gun here, which is basically a glorified shotgun. Get out of here, get out of here. When wormholes open, you only have a limited amount of time in each cargo container until wormholes open and make your life a living hell as they separate uh, the ship from the actual cargo holds. Get out of here! Are you serious? Okay, we made it back inside. I need to destroy these crates, I think. Because those are going to be a problem for me as I try to get back inside sometimes. Anyway, we're back into our ship. As we walk over here, we've already gotten the cargo back. Although we've got a blue screen of death apparently in the background right there. And what we're going to do next, activate the magnet again. So pretty much this is how the game goes. You're uh, activating the magnet, drawing more containers into yourself, collecting loot, and things get more and more complex as you go along. So I was going to go to my upgrade chamber. But first, why not go through this next wave? So I'm just going to try to sneak in here. It's not going to work too well. So I'm just going to have to use my drill, I guess. Now, these are enemies, and those yellow crystals are enemy spawners, so we're just going to kill these guys. When you kill enemies, you collect caps, and caps are kind of like the currency of the game. They also, I suppose, function kind of similar to, uh, oh, that's not good. Kind of similar to, uh, like, experience points in that, oh, I'm out of ammo. There you go. Uh, in that, uh, we can use them to upgrade. I actually got stuck in here, so let's use our drill to get out of here. And I thought there were some caps there that I missed, but maybe not. So basically what I'm doing, coming around here, uh, deactivating as many enemy spawners as I can, picking up all the cargo that's available to me, and basically just trying to, it's, it's a score attack kind of game. As you can see, uh, right now my score is quite low, it's only 325, but it goes up as we get back to the ship. We can't just get the cargo, we have to safely secure it. And this should be some good stuff here, as we pop this open. Uh, lump of coal, okay. So obviously uh, our range is going to dictate the power of our shots, no I'm pretty sure that is not how it works in this game. We did get a lobster trophy there, and I think that's the end of these crates, so we're going to try to get... Oh, although there's another crate over here that I've never seen before in my, like, three attempts to beat this mission. So let's see if maybe I can get some more cargo here, and maybe some good stuff. You can see on our map that there was, like, actually a question mark that was, like... Or not a question mark, but a... Oh, it was a question mark that was, like, come over here to get cargo. So I did. So the wormhole's opening up. We're just going to try to get back to our ship now. I probably could have gotten a little bit more cargo, but that's the constant balance in Cargo Commander is like your greed versus 
as you can see our cargo being deposited in the background our score goes up uh your greed versus your safety like how how greedy are you and are you willing to you know go that extra mile to get those points that could eventually kill you so we're up to 1425 here 1525 Still far away from uh, 50th place. I'm not sure if that's 50th place on the leaderboards or something else because I've never nearly gotten high enough for that. I just went to our upgrade bench here and this is what causes me to feel like this game's a little bit Isaac-y or... You know, it's actually kind of similar to, I guess, a game like Probability Zero in that we can choose our own upgrades. So what you can do is, you know, upgrade your tool. You can get a drill that makes you drill faster. You can get an Atomic Fist, which increases your melee strength times two. 40 pounds of manliness. Boots that allow you to grip a little bit better. Uh, so 20 speed percent is actually pretty good uh, secret oxygen supply in your suit mag bomb protection these are like grenades that we'll use a little bit later maybe uh, upgrades for our nail gun but first thing I'm gonna do is just get an upgraded uh, what's I gonna say upgraded magma drill here and in doing that we'll, oh, we can't get the cold fusion drill yet can I buy anything else I can buy mag bomb protection and that's it except I could buy more nails and more shells let's buy more shells uh, yes okay so in doing that we can use our blast gun again so we're down to five sh uh, caps, as you can see down here on the bottom. Now there are other things that we can see here. You can see the console. The console is where we get email. So for example, if we load this up, we can get some from uh, our love. Hey dear, I hope you liked your first days on the job. Job, buh, buh. I know it's a desk job, but I hope that you can enjoy yourself too. I know you told me the most dangerous thing that can happen is getting a paper cut, but I can still worry, right? That's what wives are for. I was just looking at the syntax there. Have you met interesting new people? Have you seen the wonders of space? It must be such a sight out there. Hugs love. P.S. Champ misses you, but he is being strong. Mr. Blubblebee is keeping him company. I'm so happy you gave him that fishy before you left. Awesome. Delete. You know what I have to say to my wife? Fuck you. All right. And we also have this navigator over here, but we can't use the navigator yet. Uh, because we have to end our work day in order to do that. And this will allow us to travel to other sectors, basically. First things first. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. We'll go for this uh, cargo here. And the other thing that makes this sort of similar to a roguelike, and I know people are shitting their pants right now as I keep saying roguelike, 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 when it's not a roguelike. Uh, but there is like permadeath, and you do die fairly frequently. Like, like the game is, is punishing. I mean, just because the game is hard doesn't mean it's a roguelike. Why is that cap outside? That's uh, annoying. Uh, but I guess we can drill out and get it. Which is good, because we need that currency to upgrade ourselves, of course. Oh, come on. Really? I was right around it. Uh, there's also a ton of assholes down here. So we're just gonna spam them with our nail gun, basically, and try not to get hit. Destroy all these right here. We got another mediocre donut. Lots of donuts in this game. And there's some enemies. Ah! Are you serious? I'm almost out of, uh, nails. Oh, but I got more shells, actually. I didn't realize. I must have picked those up from destroying one of the spawners or something. So that was really slow. But if I get out here quickly enough, I might be able to get some more cargo. I pretty consistently die around this point in the game because I find it difficult to get back into the ship. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go around the outside here. I'm just going for this question mark. Usually those are like big cargo boxes. Well, sometimes they're big cargo bosses, boxes anyway. Oh, and our ultimate goal here. Oh man, that guy's big. Our ultimate goal here, kill him. Get out of there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, our ultimate goal, as I've tried to explain many times now, is actually to get a sector pass and in getting a sector pass we'll be able to go to other sectors so I did manage to kill our big boss there so I picked up a couple of caps I guess sadly there we go now destroy everything is there more no there's no more cargo here so let's just try to get back to the ship shall we apparently I picked up some more shells as well so the way I like to get back to the ship is by doing a little you know gravitational movement here and as we get closer and closer I just like pull out my drill Use my drill to get a brief taste of oxygen. We're in, oh, we, maybe we can get this cargo. Sweet. And then we'll come back over here, here whenever necessary. I will drill in to get some delicious life-giving O2. Now we've fallen all the way back down, but that's okay, because now we can come back up. And we should be able to fit in okay right here. There we go, more permanent solution. We are up to 16 caps again, so we should be able to buy something here. Is all my cargo deposited? No, it's depositing as we speak right now. So again, I have no idea what's up with that, like, leaderboards. Next, 14, the Cruel Blistered. I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can get there, but for now, upgrade bench again. Might be a good idea to buy, uh, I want to buy auto fire for our nail gun, so we can just hold the button to keep shooting. And in addition to that, I want to buy some more nails, because I'm super low. I'd like to buy more than 20 for sure, but, you know, that's all I can do. So let's go get some coffee. Oh, the goddamn coffee's cold! Fuck you, fuck you! 
What can I say? There's a certain basal pleasure in being able to do that. Um, yeah, let's switch to our nail gun with using Q. By the way, I'm using the keyboard, as you can probably tell from the awful sound that my keyboard is making on the uh, microphone right now. But that's okay. Can you just reload for me, please? Apparently, there we go. Finally. Uh, now, sometimes I come across these crates or these cargo holds that, unfortunately, do not actually have many spots where you can drill in. That's indicated by those X's over there. So what you gotta kinda do is swing around and in doing so, drill in. Oh, no, it's a missile! Uh, get in there. Oh man, we're running out of oxygen. Drill faster, please. Thank you. What is this anyway? Apparently I can't pick that up, unfortunately. Um, what the heck is I gonna say? Yeah, so, so you do have to engage in some creative navigation sometimes. This is not necessarily good. I'm already out of nails, but at least we have caps. I could just, um, you know, cut my losses and basically go back to my ship right now. Try to buy some more supplies or something, but I don't think that's a great idea. I think I'm going to be okay for now. This guy's finally dead. He gave us two caps, which is not a lot. And I really, really dislike... Oh, man, I really should have killed that weapon spawner earlier. Uh, I dislike this level, or this section of this level. Simply because I think it's a pain in the ass to do what I'm going to do here, which is like drill while you're jumping. So yeah, I'm, I'm using the uh, keyboard and mouse for this. I'm not sure if the Xbox 360 controller is supported. It just seemed easier for a twin stick shooter because I'm controlling the um, shots with my actual mouse here. So are these guys going to come up here? If they are, I might have to use my melee weapon to kill them, which is not the way I like to do things usually. And we're going to certainly put ourselves at risk here. Although, you know, maybe I should be a little bit more melee focused because... Oh, fuck. Okay, we're in a bad spot here. Drill quickly. We did get those drill upgrades. Shit. Shit. Get out of here. The wormhole's tearing the ship apart. There we go. We got a one more cap at least. Okay, so the ship's totally torn apart. Let's just get back to our home. At least we survived. I'm not even sure if I got any cargo there. Did we? I don't think so. Let's just activate our magnet. Uh, and we're gonna buy two times nails here. So buy this, buy this. And close. Alright, so what's coming next? It worries me a little bit. This is wave four. So it is it is kind of like a... It's not like a Binding of Isaac style, like... Uh, like you go to the caves and then you go to the basement, like predetermined levels or anything like that. Instead, it's more like a... Almost like a Space Invaders in so or something where it's based entirely on waves. So I don't know what to do about that fire. Uh, it worries me a little bit. There's like no oxygen up here. Or no gravity, I should say. What can I say? I'm a great scientist. Always get so oxygen and, and gravity confused. Shoot your gun faster because otherwise you will end up in hell. And destroy that monster spawner. Thank you. Okay. So we're still doing okay for health. I believe our health replenishes every time we go back to uh, our home. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so sometimes containers can do that. We should actually go back here because there's a big treasure box which usually contains good stuff. Let's bust it open. Ah, uh, we find an enemy. Lucky us, but we do at least get some caps out of that. And I really like that it's kind of like an unusual... I wouldn't necessarily go so far as to say abstract, because I think that's inaccurate, but, um... It's an unusual method of platforming, where you've constantly got to shift, like, your frame of reference and, and think about, like, what your next move is going to be. I'm just using my melee attack here, which I should probably do more often. Because it does a lot of damage, it's allowing us to amass caps easily, and it's not wasting any of our, um... Uh, hard-earned shells. So yeah, I like that you're constantly, like, shifting your focus of where you should be, and, and that things are very non-linear. Although in some ways, I guess you could you could say that it is a little linear because, you know, you're just basically going from crate to crate or container to container here. I'm a little bit worried about being able to find my way back. I can still see that home waypoint, but it's, it's a long way off, unfortunately. So what I think I might do is just cut my losses or, you know, count my blessings as is and take my chips back to the table here. Uh, that's not home, is it? It is? No, it's not. Oh, the missiles! These aren't actually missiles. I think they might be like... Uh, actual like indigenous aliens or something is home over here I think so all right so this is believe it or not this is by far my longest run ever I expected this video to be like 10 different runs but I don't think that's how it's gonna go uh, we should probably we can't ah, we need to buy more here's the problem I'm constantly buying more uh, nails and shells what I might want to do is just get uh, the atomic fist which gives us two times melee damage so why don't we try to get one cap quickly and then I'll get uh, Atomic Fist, which gives us the extra melee damage. And I'll try to be more melee focused, because my ammo situation is not good right now. So yeah, left click is shoot, right click is uh, to use the drill, and it all functions totally adequately. See, they're bu busted through. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, it all functions completely adequately. It, it works really well. It controls fine. Uh, in terms of how I feel about this game, I think this game, oh god, uh, has the potential... What, what's going on here is the real question. Don't come into my home, please. Uh, I think this game has the potential to be a really good time waster. Like, that's the way I've spent my time with it so far. Come on, just channel old school Mario boss techniques. Or old school Contra techniques, I guess. Oh, man. There's a lot of enemies. Maybe I should just go buy some ammo really quick. Although, I kind of feel like this is working out okay. Oh, but yeah, I think this is the kind of game where you could easily, you know, be like, I have 20 minutes, get out of my house. Uh, like, I have 20 minutes, let's let's just boot up some Cargo Commander and play that. Are these guys dead? They must be. Oh, hey, aliens. I dropped my coffee. You dicks. Get out of my house. Um, can I get some more coffee? That's the real question. Yes, I can. Okay. Well, we don't have any, any things, really. Let's try, uh, to amass some... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these guys. Um, let's try to amass some crates, or ch uh, caps, so that we can actually get that next investment in the, the melee fist, or whatever it was called, atomic fist. This is basically just free stuff for me right here, because these guys are easy to kill. And gradually, my score is getting a little bit better. These guys apparently cannot do any damage in this situation, which is cool by me. So if I just click on them one by one, should be able to get free caps. Because they can't do anything. I have no idea what the aliens are supposed to be. Graphically, the game reminds me a lot of like... And I believe this is a deliberate aesthetic, so I'm not trying to be like a dick about it or anything. Uh, but it reminds me a lot of when like Super Nintendo games got the... Uh, what is that called? The FX chip? That allowed them to do 3D. And then they're like, check it out, man. 3D. But every 3D object was actually only like eight polygons. And you're like, oh. I don't know how I feel about this. In this like kind of deliberate aesthetic, I think it works really well. Uh, the game doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's cartoony. It's a little simplistic, but, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. Uh, wow. Badass. Sometimes, like, your upgrades don't necessarily... At least so far, the ones that I've gotten. And keep in mind, I haven't played this all that much yet. Well under two hours so far. Uh, the upgrades that I've gotten haven't necessarily changed the way I looked too much. Like, the Atomic Fist is one of the exceptions. But I might be totally off base with that, so basically what I'm telling you to do is just ignore everything I say. As several commenters just say in unison, yo, we already do. Uh, I think we want to go this way. Apparently I just got 16 bullets. That's probably for uh, the six shooter, which is another kind of gun that we can pick up. There's normally lots of guns that we can pick up. But I've been sticking largely with uh, Mediocre Donut, Angry Moose Trophy, Lobster Trophy. Uh, I've been sticking largely with um, the starting nail gun, which I think is kind of like a machine gun in, in Contra terms, or Metal Slug terms. Which this game occasionally reminds me of. In its combat, anyway, of course. So, if we could finally sneak through here, drill through this thing, thank you. And I'm just looking for some cargo here, of which there might not be any. Nah, yeah, it looks like this thing's totally dark, unfortunately, but we sneak through here. Another sweet cargo container. We'll bust that open. Get a gallon of super rocket fuel, lump of coal. As well as, uh, I think it was two lumps of coal. And the cargo does have, uh, occasionally... Usefulness. It, at the very least. Oh god, what is this? It made me drop my coffee again, you dicks. We gotta drill in here for a second, though. Because I really need the oxygen. I didn't want to get and fight these guys that way, but I ha it had to be done. Um. Yeah, occasionally the cargo does have usefulness. I mean, I'm not sure how it exactly plays into the overall game or the, the meta game or what you will at this point. However, what the heck is this thing? Toggle. Yeah, turn that shit on. I don't know what that's gonna do, but we'll do it. Um, but yeah, it's got the same thing as, oh no, as like the Binding of Isaac, where it's, whenever you complete it, you can go check out your stat screen and be like, oh, I only have like 9 of 88 cargos unlocked. This is my home, I probably shouldn't drill in here, but hey, whatever works. So, our cargo should be depositing now. And basically, the, the thing that reminds me of roguelikes when I play this is that you're basically just playing until you die. I mean, there are ends of levels, there are ends of work days, you can get, the level usually ends, or a sector usually ends when you get a sector pass and choose to complete your work day, but do I have any new emails? No. Got a pretty good cargo list here. We've got 19, 24, 36, 40 cargo. I guess I could have just looked at the total instead of adding it up by face there. By face? I was gonna say by hand, but I wasn't really using my hand, so I was like, what's more accurate than hand? Yeah, face for sure. So at some point, the sector pass will uh, be incoming here. I'm not sure if it happens at wave 10 or what, but uh, and then that will allow us to Go to the next sector. 
Uh, or unlock a new sector, basically. Again, the level setup... Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the level setup is a little bit interesting. Uh, we'll talk about it after I die here, assuming I die here at some point. I'm expecting it to come at any point uh, in the near future. I think I want to get a little bit higher here, like Scott Stapp. Come on. Just drill in. Stop making Creed references. Uh, I think this thing's going to explode if I turn on the furnace, so I'm not going to turn on the furnace. Instead, I'm just going to get the fuck out of here. I haven't built, really been killing anybody, so I haven't really been amassing caps. What I can do here is easily destroy these monster spawners. And then get the fuck out of town. Try to pick up some more cargo. Because I'm not worried about caps anymore. I got a nice little upgrade system, I think, of my... Oh, god damn it. Uh, of my own. However, we do have a blast gun here that we can pick up. So we got two shells. Maybe we should try to do some damage here. This guy's got to be nearly dead. We hurt him pretty bad. Get out of there. How are these guys not dead? I guess they are more boss-type baddies. Oh, I died! That happened so quickly, I thought I was doing so well. Well, anyway. Hopefully the game doesn't freeze. I have had the occasional freeze when I finish a level. As we zoom out here, there we go. So, I, unfortunately, I didn't make it into the top scores on Sector Gallifrey. Core Subin is going to stick with that. I'm just checking to see if there's anybody I know. No. How about friends? Well, I'm number one and number two. Because I have no friends. Where is my score? I can't see it. Let's continue here. We got a gallon of super rocket fuel. This is just our new cargo that we've never seen before. The label says it contains a distillate of the combined fossil fuels of three medium-sized planets in the Nibiru solar system. Angry Moose Trophy. There's a button on this trophy. When you press it, the moose roars furiously and starts shouting obscenities. What fun. I can get down with that. So at the end of every level, you, you see what kind of cargo you got, and you also see what rank you are. So right now, I'm a senior... I thought that said Senor Dick Swab, which would be a great name for, like, a luchador... Uh, but sadly, no. Senior Deck Swab. And every time you rank up, which you can see by your experience here, which is determined by the amount of cargo that you got, uh, you get, like, a new upgrade. So the last upgrade I got was that upgrade bench, so then I could, like, buy upgrades for myself when I got caps within the level. Uh, I'm not sure what actually comes next. We can see maybe when we hit continue. Yeah, next thing comes... Maintenance panel. Interesting to know. Oh, I guess the last thing I got was pocket money, which allows me to start with 10 caps. Before, I got the upgrade bench, and I was just incapable of using it until I got 10 caps. But now I can start with some upgrades. So as we continue here, that will represent a death. Uh, I don't want to play this level again, necessarily. What we can do is go to our navigator quickly. And in our navigator, we can choose to play either the sector that I've already done. This is like the tutorial sector that comes with the game. Or we can check out a new sector, or we should be able to anyway, unless I have to find a sector token here to unlock it. Or a sector pass, I should say. Uh, maybe I do. So I'm not actually going to play uh, the, the first sector again, although it's fine, you know, you, you can see these people are putting up good scores here. Uh, Gallifrey's a lot of fun. Let's just close out and go to uh, our main menu, if at all possible. I hope this quit doesn't actually cause me to quit the game, but if I do, it's been fun, guys. Yes, quit, sure. Okay, so we're back at the main menu here. Uh, it did not cause us to quit the game. That was not editing foo. This is all still live and uncut. This has been Cargo Commander from Series Brew, now available on Steam. Uh, I hope I did a good job of articulating how the game actually works. I've just been playing it as kind of like, almost like Minesweeper. Like, I just boot it up when I have, you know, 10, 15 minutes and, you know, have a good time messing around with it. It's 10 bucks on Steam. Uh, I think it's well worth it and it's one of the most fun, like, just balls out fun platformers I played recently and having played a lot of platformers recently I can assure you that none of them with the exception of maybe Thomas was alone uh, and Pid sometimes during co-op was uh, as fun as the times I've had playing Cargo Commander while eating a sandwich but in any case as always thank you guys for watching go check out the game if you are interested and I will see you next time